I will never spend my Bitcoin right now until it raises to where I think it needs to be. Remember that number, 100 million. I firmly bet my life that not in my lifetime, but maybe in my children's children's lifetime, that one Bitcoin, today that's worth 40,000, is gonna be worth about $100 million. So what do I do? I buy and stack for my kids. You can stack for your future. All right. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Ahead of the Crypto Curve. I am just ecstatic to be here today. And um, we are here on this Friday, and I call it Friends and Family Friday today. Uh, I want you all to call in. If you have any questions that you want to ask me, you can ask me anything today. I'm going to make sure that I give that number at the top of the hour right now, and I'll give it again so that you can call in. If you're at home or at work or driving in your car and you have a question about Bitcoin or cryptocurrency, you can definitely come on and ask me any question you like. That number is 800-920-1580. Again, that is 800-920-1580. And I want to make sure that you get your questions answered. We're also setting up um to really participate and help support the station towards the end of the month we're looking at April the 29th when we are embarking upon the 30th anniversary of the uh riots here in LA of the George um I was getting ready to say George Floyd Lord have mercy uh for the Rodney King uh beating and some of the things that happened on Florence and Normandy so we're going to be out there I will definitely be out there in support uh we were able to get a press release today and I'm really excited about that and I'd like for all of the listeners that are out there that are in the Los Angeles area to come out and meet Dominique and Tavis on the streets of L.A. on Florence and Normandy on, again, April 29th from 6 in the morning till 12 noon. And I'm going to rush in from there and come into the station and do my one o'clock show for those of you that are on the East Coast and, you know, those of you that are here in L.A. as well. And so we want to make sure that we're participating in that. And I wanted to say that at the top of the hour, because I want to ensure that we are supporting the station. Uh, also, that folks are downloading the app. You can listen to that broadcast live. Uh, you can download the app. You can ask your friends and family to download the KBLA app. That is the best way to stay plugged in to all of the things that are happening in our community, not just here in Los Angeles, but all across the United States. We are here for you. We are the unapologetically progressive radio station. And so today you're here listening to Ahead of the Crypto Curve. And I am your host, Naja Roberts, a.k.a. Young Harriet, that is leading my people out of financial slavery. And that is my mission. And I am a part of the Midday Money chain and just super excited about that because I am making Satoshi millionaires. That is the smallest increment of a Bitcoin. And we're doing that one day at a time, one family at a time, one Bitcoin at a time and one Satoshi at a time. And that ladies and gentlemen means you. I am excited about being on today and really just want to help you all get a budget together today. So we're going to be talking about budgeting. We're going to be talking about having the opportunity to look at different coins, even though I don't advise it. You know, folks want to know how they vet these opportunities because there are people in our community that are coming and talking to them about different coins. How do you vet it? We're going to talk a little bit about that. But today I really want to focus on helping you find find ways to begin to to put away a couple of dollars worth of satoshis which is the smallest increment of bitcoin into your wallet today not next week today you don't have to save up to do this but today so we're going to talk about planning and a budget uh, and what you might possibly be able to do aside of what we've been talking about on Mondays, which is sell some of the stuff that's in your house that you're no longer using. But we're also going to help you develop your investment strategy today. So that's going to be our goal for today is to help you do that. And ladies and gentlemen, it is definitely imperative that you are uh, listening in close uh, because what I am going to say to you today may make the difference 
and what your investment portfolio looks like in the Bitcoin space um, Monday as opposed to today, because today the price of Bitcoin is relatively inexpensive. It's on sale. And I like to always say that because, in my opinion, it is on sale when it's not as high as we think it should be. It's on sale. And how we find those things out and how we look at those things is called, again, coin market cap. C-O-I-N market, M-A-R-K-E-T. Like you go to the store to buy bread, market, coin market cap, C-A-P. And when you go to coin market cap, it lets you know how much the different cryptocurrencies are. Uh, each one of those cryptocurrencies being different. Uh, cryptos in circulation that we can see on coin market cap right now today are 18,918, which is different from yesterday. And that's why I want to let you know that there are so many cryptocurrencies out there. You cannot keep up with them. What we can do is help you all figure out what is most important what should be the foundation of your portfolio and go forward. But as I look at coin market cap today, ladies and gentlemen, I see that Bitcoin is at $40,000, $40,350. And again, you don't need 40000 You don't need $400 or $40. You can start with as little as a dollar on some flat platforms, but we do $6 here on ahead of the crypto curve and so you can start there so it says that bitcoin is up 1.4 percent from yesterday this uh exact time so it's at 40,000 it's climbed its way back up to 40,000 a few days ago it was a little bit less than 40,000 and we took advantage of both that low market and that high market uh ladies and gentlemen when we come forward we are going to talk about planning and a budget with that, this is KBLA Talk 1580. All right. And ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to start this part of our segment by saying to you as an ex-financial advisor, it is imperative that you sit down either if you're single or if you're married or whatever the case may be and put together a budget. I know a lot of us don't look like to look at what we are spending, but it is imperative. There is, in my opinion, an emergency going on, and we've got to do something different than we've done. Uh, I was listening this morning to Dominique as she was talking about, uh, you know, what's going on here in the city of Los Angeles and the crime. And, you know, some folks feel like the crime rate is up. The crime rate is down. Some feel like it's no different than uh, what it's been in the past, but it's being reframed just a little bit different. And I venture to say, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that because of some of the things that are going on, be it you know, no one's right or wrong in the situation is as it relates to crime and things that are happening on our streets. Uh, one thing is imperative is that we get our house in order because, again, you know, money is not everything. We, we've we heard, you know, uh, you know, the one of the biggest misquoted scriptures is money is the root of all evil. Well, money is not the root of all evil. The love of money is what it actually says is the root of all evil. But we have got to get our money straight because if we don't get our money straight, we're not going to be able to do the things that we need to do for ourselves and for our families. But not only that, we're not going to be able to reach out and, and have the options that we need. Maybe that option is, you know what, you're fed up, you're tired, you're ready to get up, pack up and move. It could be out of the state, it could be out of the country, but you got to have your money right. Everything that you want to do you've got to have your money right and so in order to make that happen we've got to come up with what it looks like towards retirement and I do something when I am doing these classes for cryptocurrency and when I am sitting with the group and trying to help them understand how critically important it is that we begin to budget and think strategically about building wealth in our particular family. Not that it's not been done before, but there's something different that needs to happen this time around because we're getting closer to some of us are closer to retirement. Some of us are closer to having our first grandchildren, whatever the case may be, we have got to strategically do something different than we've done in the past to make sure that our money is safe and that we are doing the right things that we are building 
uh, massively because the wealth gap cannot continue to to just get as wide as it is. And so in saying that, ladies and gentlemen, I do something called the FIN number which is the financial independence number. And if you're interested in getting this FIN number, it's free of charge, but uh, you would have to send a text message to me and I can get the uh, the document over so that you can get your actual financial independence number uh, because you need to know that. And what I do is I help people budget, but I also help people get that financial independent num- independence number and work backwards. Because if you're telling me that you want to retire by the age of 75 and right now you're 50 something, we've got to start where you are or which would be or should be at 75 and work backwards because that tells us how aggressive you need to be in this thing called retirement planning. And so with that first, first, first step is getting that financial independence number. And I may just go ahead and do that. Uh, on the radio just to kind of give you a gist but I know that in the past when I've done this financial independence number we've had to reiterate stuff over and over again so people's mind can lock in and really understand what this big huge number is um, that they're putting together because you not only got to think about when you're retiring ladies and gentlemen you've got to think about how long you plan to live so if you're saying okay I'm gonna retire at 65 Well, how long are you planning on living? So you've got to really look at that and you've got to do some multiplication and some division and you got to figure this thing out. But first and foremost, today, we're going to be talking about budgeting. So budgeting is critically important. So before you venture into cryptocurrency or maybe you're already into cryptocurrency, you need to just establish uh, an investment budget. So you have your regular budget of how much you're spending on gas, water, lights, and those things are non-negotiables. But you also should have a budget on what you're spending frivolously. Uh, If it's $30 a week, then you have to figure out and articulate to your mind uh, when and how you're going to spend that $30. But you also need an investment budget. And you want to use, you do not want to use money from your house like if you're taking out a loan a second or a third uh you don't want to do that in this cryptocurrency space i am begging you not to do that and because and a lot of people think that they can go ahead and take out a loan and buy some cryptocurrency and do whatever they need to do because they think they can pay it back when the price of bitcoin goes up or the price of the cryptocurrency that they're going out to purchase goes up and i really want to caution our community not to do that because it could very well be that you um, have a 60 to 90 day window to pay this uh, money back that you've borrowed or whatever you've done. And then the market just is not in your favor. The market stays stagnant. The market trades sideways. The market gets so volatile that it drops all the way down. And what you think you were going to get in profit, you're no longer able to get. And so I want to make sure that our community is clear that that is that can be the the plight of of anyone if they don't do this correctly so borrowing from a 401k or pulling funds from a house uh those are some of the things that i would not suggest you do but if you have some savings that are somewhere uh that you have for unforeseen circumstances or situations you can utilize a little bit of that money uh but what we don't want you to do is invest in cryptocurrency uh, and and have all the money that you have or all the money that you may need really quickly because if you're storing it properly, it's not as easy to retrieve as you think. And when I say it's not as easy to retrieve, it's not that you cannot get access back to your Bitcoin or your cryptocurrency. It's that you've got to take out that little bitty ledger device that's about the size of your thumb. You've got to plug it in. You've got to use your C words. You've got to do a couple of different things to be able to transfer funds back to fiat. And so when we are investing in cryptocurrency, I'm asking each and every one of you to be investing with some money that you do not need to come back and get in the next 90 days. That's kind of my prerequisite for uh, for beginning to to invest. It makes sure that it is money that you do not have to come back and get uh, anytime soon. And so we want to be diligent in 
constantly repeating this uh, and also knowing that there are no guaranteed profits, which means you may lose your investments, ladies and gentlemen, just like in anything that you invest in, especially if you don't do your homework before you invest. If you're just listening to Cousin Pookie or, or Uncle Frank and them, you want to make sure that you are listening, watching, reading, doing your due diligence before you're investing in these platforms that they're bringing to you and these coins that they're bringing to you because you could possibly lose your investment and you don't want it to be uh, the loss of that investment that is going to put you and your family out on the streets and add to the homelessness that we just heard about in the commercial. We want to make sure that we, uh, you know, make sure that we make that clear. We do not recommend you pulling funds from any type of retirement accounts or anything to fund your initial cryptocurrency investments. I'm going to show you how to do that. But also, ladies and gentlemen, early withdrawal from your uh, retirement funds trigger expensive tax penalties there is a 69 and 65 and a half rule 64 and a half rule i'm thinking of a mustang 64 and a half um but there are rules um there are rules associated with pulling from your retirement plans in, in, um before you're supposed to and so you want to make sure that you're checking with those the only time that there has not been a penalty for pulling from your 401k or some of these retirement plans was during COVID when they knew people were trying to stay afloat. They had an option or a window available for you to actually pull funds from your 401k without penalties, without being 59 and a half. Um, and so we want to steer away from that. And I say that all the time because in our community, folks are looking for places to pull money so they can invest in cryptocurrency. And it is not something that I suggest. So, again, I'm going to continue to say that because I want to continue to make sure that our community is safe in that. So um, let's move on. So cryptocurrency um, investing can be begin with any amount of money. All the cryptocurrency exchanges out there, most of the cryptocurrency mobile phone cryptos, uh, their apps allow you to purchase fractional shares of cryptocurrency. Again, you do not have to have the whole amount uh, to buy a whole coin. That means you can buy small pieces of any coin so you don't have to worry about saving up large amounts before you begin investing. So I want to make sure that that is clear. All of the details that I mentioned earlier that you need to review or that you need me to reiterate or that you need some clarification on, feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'm not sure if our, uh, are we going to be, yeah, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to get the questions answered today just because we have a lot of things going on in the studio today and they're taking some calls for some of the events that are coming up. But you are more than welcome to reach out to me on social media. I'm Naja Roberts on all social medias. And actually, uh, because we've had an overwhelming response from this radio show, thank you to KBLA for that. Uh, we've had an overwhelming response. Uh, we've decided to go ahead and make it where you can just just send me a quick text message. So if you like a question answered or you like for me to share something on the air, I can definitely do that. So I'll just give you that number real quick because I did ask you all to give me a call today uh, at the radio station. But again, they're taking some calls from some other things. So if you can reach out to me at 424-317-7373. Again, that number is 424 424- Three one seven seven three seven three. I would be happy to take your call uh, and take it, not take your call, take your question on air. So we got to make sure that we're doing that. So budgeting is one of the things that we need to do uh, in this space as soon as we humanly can possibly sit down and do some of those things. And as a financial advisor, ex-financial advisor, I would always sit down with my clients and say, what can you afford to invest in the good times, in the bad times. Uh, and that's what you want to ask yourself. What can you afford to invest in the good times and in the bad times? That means you have some monies put away for a rainy day. That means you have some monies that you can put your hands on 
if you need to do something for an emergency, one of the saddest things I constantly hear in the Bitcoin space is that someone had an emergency and they had to spend their Bitcoin to cure it. And now the transmission that they had to go and get on the car is worth a couple of million dollars. Whereas if they had been able to hold on to that Bitcoin and not sell it, they would have a couple of million dollars right now. But they had to get that transmission was about three or eight hundred dollars. Uh, three to eight hundred dollars, if if my memory serves me correct, on Mr. Wilson's uh, talk about him having to spend his Bitcoin on getting his transmission fixed. That Bitcoin today is worth God knows what. Uh, and we want to help our community get uh, away from away from uh, having to sell their Bitcoin. And the the other option is if you're thinking about doing this investment in any shape form or fashion large or small always look to invest something that you can afford to lose you can afford to lose or that could take 30 to 60 days or even five years and i'm trying to get that financial trajectory out there uh, just so you all can see that five-year mark that's when we're going to look back and and just be grateful for what we've done every single day by way of dollar cost averaging. And again, if you cannot do dollar cost averaging every single day, ladies and gentlemen, you can do it every month. You can do it every week. It's up to you. But I want to make sure that you're saying these words to yourself. What can I afford to invest in the good times and the bad times? And then once you get that figured out into your head, what I'd like for you to do is um, cut that in half. So let's just say you've got your annuities, you've got your 401ks, you've got your insurance, everything is going into um, different places, but you've got now this $200, let's say, per per month that you can afford to lose. You can afford to invest in Bitcoin because maybe you're not going to go out for that extravagant steak dinner. You're going to do something a little bit different. Um, once you get that number in your head, I like to say go half because when the market drops and you get a little bit antsy, you're not feeling like you spent or you gave it all over to the ranch. You're feeling like you've got some leeway. And so I want to make sure that everybody is feeling comfortable. But I will say this because I did gauge it uh, for uh, individuals who are uh, planning on investing in Bitcoin are already investing in Bitcoin and stacking your Satoshis. If you are getting in early, which we're still early, not as early as when the coin was 5,000 or as early as when the call coin was $3 a third, $300. I mean, it, it's been all those, uh, but we want to make sure. And I, I remember actually on my son's birthday, when Bitcoin first started, it finally hit a dollar like it was just incredible. But ladies and gentlemen, when we come forward, we will be developing your strategy uh, for in investing. This is KBLA Talk 1580. All right. All right. I'm, I was looking through my emails during the break and I just saw an exciting uh, email that came across and I am going to have a big announcement coming on Monday. So I'm super, super excited about this big announcement. So I'm going to do that on Monday, but I'm smiling. I came back in dancing to the, to the music during uh, the commercials and just enjoying myself. But we are back to developing your investment strategy for cryptocurrencies, ladies and gentlemen. So before you invest, you must actually decide what you are investing in. I am suggesting that you start with the foundational thing of Bitcoin, but I also need to be thinking about you specifically. So all of us may have different reasons that we're investing. Somebody may just want to start. I mean, there's all kinds of things. So we'll kind of go through them, not quickly, but enough for you to kind of get a grasp on it. And if you need more uh, in-depth talk about uh, starting this investment strategy, just feel free to reach out to me. I, again, I'm on all social medias at Naja Roberts. Uh, but before you invest, you need to figure out if this is short term or if this is a big purchase that you need to make next year or if this is for your retirement or if you just want to provide regular financial security for your family. 
and just whatever it is, you've got to really come up with what that strategy is. And a lot of us have not done that. So we're going to start doing that. So we're definitely going to start putting together a budget so we know what we have in the good times and the bad times. And then we're going to think about why we are investing. Like, what does this look like for you specifically? Investing in cryptocurrency will almost surely earn more growth than any bank account. And I can say that with a capital A-N-Y, than any bank account or certificate of deposit out there. And I am sure of that. Um, The specific goals that you have in mind will help you determine how risky you need to be to obtain these goals. Um, And so when I say risky and we're talking about Bitcoin, um, just make sure that you're you're keeping an open mind to the fact that I am while we're talking, talking about Bitcoin, even though crypto cryptocurrency is this overarching asset class. I'm talking specifically about Bitcoin because I want you all to get your foundation in place before you start jumping into these other coins. Um, And so, but it can still all be very risky. So we're not going to put that aside. We're not going to not use those words because it is definitely risky, just like anything else that you do. But the stress of cryptocurrency investing can be difficult to handle. If the price of Bitcoin or these other coins that you're investing in rises and falls every hour, your investment portfolio will fall as well. So you have to get yourself mentally prepared for this. I am telling you this because I have mentally prepared myself since 2017, dumping any and everything I could get into this space. I had to get myself mentally prepared for the losses that it looks like I took. But I had to remember, and I say this often, when you fall into these situations, do not panic. If it happens, ladies and gentlemen, try not to panic. Because if it takes a big price dip, you really have two options. You can stay calm and hold steady, or you can do like I do and say it's on sale and you can buy more. Now, That's only applying to Bitcoin specifically. And I'm going to say that because if the price of Dogecoin is dropping, you definitely don't want to be buying more Dogecoin because it's never going back up. The supply is is just too many out there in circulation for it to ever do anything substantial. So with that, always remember that selling for a loss is the easiest way to lose your money. So again, if you don't panic, I have a shirt that I sell that says stay calm and crypto. And we want you to always stay calm. Um, The buy and hold strategy is what I've been talking about over the last four months now. I've been talking about it for the last couple of years, but on the radio, we've been talking about it for the last couple of months. It is the tried and true approach to actually investing in. And that goes for if even if it's real estate or precious metals undeveloped land, jewelry, any other valuables that you have over time, the investment strategy of buy and hold has always been tried and true. In general, the longer you hold property and wait, the higher your profit will be. Well, that doesn't change much as it relates to cryptocurrency. The more you buy and hold um, before they actually reach their potential, and I've said this over and over again, Bitcoin has not reached its potential. It is like a lemon that is on the tree. And you see these beautiful green lemons and you go and pull it off because you think you can sit it on your counter just like you could do a banana or any other fruit that gets ripe later as it sits. Well, these lemons don't get better with time. They don't do anything. They never even get to be orange. I mean, yellow. (laughs) I'm thinking of Bitcoin. They never even get to be yellow because you pull them off the tree before they reach their full potential. You have to wait for a lemon to get ripe on the vine. Bitcoin, which is the orange fruit, it's orange, uh, or the symbol is orange because it's not really physical as we know. You have to leave it on the vine. You have to leave it on the blockchain to allow it to get fruit 
ripe, to allow it to get ripe so that you can receive the fruits of its labor because it's working for you, whether you know it or not. And I just love Bitcoin because it works for me as as opposed to me having to work for it. Now, I definitely work for it to do that investment. But while it's sitting there, while it's growing, while I am rocking it, uh, nurturing it, and I don't talk to it, but I do all do some of those things. It is done like a 200 percent return in most cases for uh, for us. And so we're really excited about that. But that is one of the strategies, which is buy and hold. And I don't know if that's you, but if it is, we can definitely rock together. You'll hear more of me talking about buying and holding um, and also the crypto market. um has a bunch of folks in it that are doing this high frequency trading. This is a different style of investing, ladies, that attempts to take advantage of the price fluctuations in the market. So if you plan plan to buy low and sell high, it can be very profitable. It absolutely can. Tons of people have done it, but it's also, um, but it's also, proved to be detrimental to those that are at going to work and trying to day trade at the same time with regular stocks and bonds and different things like that. It's a lot easier. Cryptocurrency is a whole lot harder to do those sorts of things. So you got to make sure that if you're trying to do some high frequency trading, that you're able to stay on top of your game. If you decide to monitor the performance of your purchases throughout the day, I'm just going to tell you right now, it can be stressful as ever because there is never ending fluctuations of these different coins and the prices. So as we know, cryptocurrency trades 24 seven around the world. And so the patterns and price fluctuations cannot be more complex than anything you've ever done. So the longer you watch, the more you will, um, you know, the more you will feel anxiety. I'll just be honest with you. Feel anxiety because that's what I felt and that's what I hear a lot of other people feeling because they're always trying to really figure this cryptocurrency thing out. Um, But there have been some dips in the market that some of us have seen. Um, And so when we come forward, ladies and gentlemen, we'll talk about some of these dips. Uh, One of them happens to be on Saturday night, Sunday morning, in between the middle of the night where the price drops at least $50 on Bitcoin and people have been able to set up sale orders or buy orders, excuse me, buy orders at that time. Uh, We call it the Marshall effect. Those of us that are on clubhouse, we call it the Marshall effect because he was the one that brought it to our attention that uh, Saturday night, early morning, Sunday, Bitcoin tends to drop about $50 and he's always buying in for lower at that time because when he has his buy order set, He's able to take advantage of that. And so that's just one of the patterns that you'll start to see when you really follow this thing. When we come forward, we'll look at a couple of more strategies uh, to just make this simple for you. But the biggest thing is to just be calm and continue to crypto. This is KBLA Talk 1580. All right. So we are talking about investment strategies. And for those of you who have this strategy that I'm about to talk about in mind, uh, I'm going to help you out just a little bit more. So if you are looking for the most simple way, straightforward method of purchasing and investing in cryptocurrency, and you want to look for an all in one application, I'm just going to tell you that there is none. (laughs) So I can save you the trouble of looking. So you can go to those all in one, one all in one places where you think they're doing you a favor, but they're absolutely not doing you a favor. So some of these all in one platforms have high Bitcoin fees, high trading fees, just, just all sorts of things are happening um, in this space. And so the best, easiest, simple, straightforward method, in my opinion, does not exist. As we all know, we hear the thought that. Uh, or I won't even say the thought Uh, we hear the phrase or the biblical verse that states to whom much is given much is required I submit to the black and brown community that we have been uh, presented with an extremely huge opportunity and to whom much is given much is required this is a different way of life This is something different that you have got to guard. This is something that you have got to learn. This is something that is going to require you to do some reading. 
This is something that is going to require you not just set it up and leave it there and allow someone else to take care of it for you. This is your life, ladies and gentlemen, and life is happening and life is happening in a real way in this community. And so we've got to make sure we're understanding this. So what my suggestion is, because my husband and I have an exchange, is that you reach out to us, Crypto Blockchain Plug, and we show you how to set up your own wallet. So when you buy Bitcoin, it goes directly into your wallet. What do you have to do from there? You have to learn how to store your seed words, your mnemonic phrases. So you buy Bitcoin, we send it to your wallet, the one that you own, that nobody has custodial rights over, that nobody can get into except for you. At this time, because it just popped in my head, let me say to everyone, never, ever, ever take a picture of your seed words or your passwords, or any of that. Do you know why? Because it goes into Google Cloud. It goes into the cloud. Anybody can get access to it. And if they have your words, if you drop the piece of paper on the ground at the flea market, somebody gets a hold of those words and they know what they look like and they know what they mean, they can go home, log on their computer, get themselves a cryptocurrency device, and wipe your wallet clean. So to whom much is given, much is required. But we We can teach you how to be self-sovereign. We can teach you how to make this simple. It does not have to be difficult, but you just have to be willing to do your due diligence because I can't do it for you. Uh, Nobody in my office can do it for you. Coinbase, Kraken, Gemini, they want to tell you they can do it for you because they take advantage of you allowing them to do it for you. But you can do this on your own. This is your wealth strategy. You can control it, and we're going to help you do that. We're going to help our community do that. And so we're excited about that. But opening up an account on at least one or two exchanges is what I suggest. Um, Again, we can help you do some of those things if you allow us to. We're probably the only customer service that you're going to get real live and in person. And we can do that for you. Uh, And ladies and gentlemen, um, you know, again, sit down. Make sure that you have the amount that you can afford to lose, the amount that you can afford to put away and not have to reach back to for a rainy day. If it's $6 a month, let it be $6 a month. There's nothing wrong with that. But start somewhere. When we come forward, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do our daily cost, dollar cost average, dollar cost average, DCA. This is KBLA Talk 1580. All right. So it is time for our daily dollar cost average and i'm just super super excited we've got so many great things going on while i'm sitting here it said that uh there was a segment that was done on me on msnbc so i'm gonna run out of here and try to see if i can find that so i can take a look at just what they were able to catch when i was up in dc at on capitol hill so i'm excited about that excited excited um but we're gonna do a daily dollar cost average Um, And for those of you that don't know, we do six dollars a day here on KBLA. We are dollar cost averaging our way to a million Satoshis. We want to hold a million Satoshis. A Satoshi is the smallest increment of a Bitcoin, just like there are 100 pennies in a dollar. And we're super excited about what we're doing to create Satoshi millionaires in this country, in the black and brown community. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's take out our black Wall Street wallet or let's dial over to your phone you're not taking it out just scrolling on your phone to find the black wall street wallet it is purple and black you're going to open it up and you're going to see the purple circle with the two arrows that go either way you're going to click on once you're going to click on buy bitcoin click on once and we're going to do six dollars and then you're going to hit continue it's going to show you the price of bitcoin today and 11 cents that is going to the black wall street wallet just for incidentals and taking care of the platform but we're going to click confirm and voila we have just purchased six dollars worth of bitcoin which is satoshis the smallest increment of a bitcoin i'm super excited about this folks because in a year you're going to see how phenomenal you've done as opposed to if you had just put that six dollars in the bank and let it do nothing for you so with that being said please reach out to me at ask again ask uh and we can get your questions answered if there's anything that you like for me to answer on air 
I will be more than happy to do that. You can just go to AskNajaRoberts.com and you can find out how to uh, get me to ask those or answer those questions on the air. I'm going to probably do a little bit of a segment about that uh, as we move forward throughout this year, just adding that to our show so that questions that you ask can be answered live because maybe you're too shy to get on the radio and you don't want to, you know, you don't want to get on and ask the question because you're nervous. You can just go to asknajaroberts.com, put that question in there, and I will answer it for you live on the air. And anything, and I mean anything that you want to ask as it relates to cryptocurrency, uh, Bitcoin, or even the altcoins, I will be able to do my due diligence on some of those to look them up, if, especially if you're asking me about a specific coin. And hopefully I'll have some coin owners on here, and I'm going to make it clear right in front of them, as I do um, always, that, you know, it's it's price over purpose, but we want to make sure that our community is safe, and that's why we would be even having them on so we can find out about it. But ladies and gentlemen, please do not touch that dial. We are making way for the D.L. Hughley Show, and you know I say that D.L. Hughley is the truth. This is Naja Roberts, a.k.a. Young Harriet, leading my people out of financial slavery, and the name of this show is Ahead of the Crypto Curve. And this is the fabulous KBLA Talk 1580.